in the midst of all of this, he is standing with such courage. He has given it right between the eyes. Let all of the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ. This Jesus whom you crucified. Not only did we see extraordinary occurrences and expected opposition, but we also see an unflinching courage and an unshakable conviction. Peter stands up. That's what it says. He's under the unction of the Holy Spirit. It's still working. So there are tongues. Does that mean that the Holy Spirit's not working? It's possible, very possible for the Holy Spirit to do his work through the preaching of the word. Is this the same courage that denied Jesus three times? We can all act in cowardice, but when the Holy Spirit comes, this I can tell you, there is a holy boldness that comes upon us. He knew.